Hi everyone and welcome back. So today's video is going to be a base makeup tutorial for dry skin. I did a similar video for oily combination skin. I'm gonna link it in the cards. During winters my skin gets extremely dry so I just switch everything and now I go for more hydrating, moisturizing products. I also use a facial oil before applying makeup. I know it sounds a little bit crazy but it's very helpful when you have dry skin. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to get a flawless base if you have dry skin. Skin. and the skin prep that I do is amazing because you can use any type of foundation you can even use matte foundation on your skin without making it feel dry and uncomfortable and tacky you know how dry skin feels when you apply makeup the wrong way we all have been through that at some point in our lives and I will not talk anymore let's just get into it before doing anything I want to shape my eyebrows because they are completely out of shape and the brow hair is just all over the place for doing that I have a very special product that I want to show you guys these are eyebrow razors from Carmesi. Now I've been waiting for this to happen like for a brand to come up with eyebrow razors because you guys know I love shaving my face and the normal razor is big for sensitive areas like eyebrows and if you want to get into the corners of your face like around your nose it's a little bit difficult to shave those areas with a normal razor with a razor like this you can go in the most difficult and sensitive areas just like their facial razors the blade of this razor too has a zigzag pattern for a smooth shave and they are made of stainless steel now i highly recommend that you store it away from any kind of moisture or water and dispose the razors immediately if you see any orange brown stain on the blade so you have to disinfect it use it and then disinfect it again and then you can put on the cap because this comes with a protective cap this also has an anti-slip grip you can see just like their facial razors it's so easy to use plus the size is perfect to go in the sensitive and difficult areas i'm starting off with a cleansed face the first product that i will be using is the kama ayurveda neroli water i love using this as a toner and i don't want my skin to be dry while i shave for lubricant, I'm using the Plum Glow Restore Facial Oil Blend. I'm applying it on and around my eyebrows. I like this facial oil a lot. It's very light and it works really good on dry skin. For shaving my eyebrows, I like to go against the direction of hair growth. I think it gives a clean shave and it's easy to do it that way. I start with the brow bone. Shaving your brow bone will not only make your eyebrows look sharp, it will also lift your face and make eyeshadow application extremely easy. The eyeshadow blends really well when you shave your eyebrows. While shaving, make sure you hold the skin tight. I was filming so I was not able to do that. You should definitely stretch your skin while shaving to prevent any cuts. Also skin prep is extremely important. It doesn't matter what skin type you have. Make sure you clean your face and moisturize really well before going in with a foundation, especially if you have dry skin. Otherwise, your makeup is going to look dull and the foundation can cling to dry areas of your face. After I'm done, I wipe out excessive oil with a cotton round. And this is the before and after. I don't remove a lot of hair. A pack of three razors retail for rupees 315. But right now, Carmesi has their fourth anniversary sale going on on their website. So these are available on discount. On top of that, you can use my code, which is visible on the screen, to get extra 10% off on these razors. And these are also available on Amazon. I'm going to link these in in the description box so do not forget to check them out if you use shaving as a hair removal method after this i'm going to use a vitamin c serum from namely this is the only vitamin c serum that has given me visible results and made my skin glowy and even toned this also has hyaluronic acid so it's an amazing serum for dry skin and what i feel is that it will work on all skin types because it's very lightweight you can use any serum of your choice for this step i'd recommend a vitamin c serum the next step is to apply a moisturizer. I'm using the Neemly Hyaluronic and Oat Amino Acid Moisturizer. This one is a very normal moisturizer. But you have to make sure that you use a good moisturizer. Especially if you're going to wear the makeup for more than 4 hours. Just dab everything in place and keep an interval of a minute between steps. For sunscreen, I'm using the Dermaco 1% Hyaluronic Sunscreen Gel. This has become my go-to sunscreen. It's so lightweight, it has got an SPF of 50 and it's blendable. Plus, it has no white cast. It has a fragrance-free formula but there is some fragrance in this product. I only use it because of its lightweight gel-like texture and also because there is no white cast. While applying the sunscreen, make sure that you do not rub it too much into your skin or it will start pilling. Just apply the sunscreen, blend it, dab it in and wait for a minute before moving on to the next step. That way you can avoid pilling. 
The next step is a facial oil. I also love the Dermaco 100% Squalane Serum because this is very moisturizing and lightweight just like the Plum Facial Oil Blend but this one has no fragrance at all. You can go for the serum if you have extremely dry skin. I use a facial oil every night. It helps a lot when you have dry skin. It makes your skin extremely plump and glowy ready for foundation application. Again, wait for a couple of minutes before applying foundation or concealer or whatever you want to apply. After some time, you can go in with the foundation, any foundation you like. The one that I used today was a little bit orange for me, as you can see. Not the best shade match. I love the K-Beauty Hydrating Foundation. It works really well with the Squalane Serum. Especially if you have dry skin, you should definitely try this combo. But I want to try something different for this video, so I use the Miss Claire Everyday Foundation. That's all for the skin prep and how to get a good makeup base if you have dry skin. Now you can go in with your normal makeup routine. I use some concealer on my under eyes. One thing that you should remember is that the skin prep is for extreme winter months and dry skin only. People having normal skin can do it too, just skip the facial oil. But if you have dry skin and your makeup always looks dull and patchy and clings to the dry areas, there is a huge chance that you do not prep your skin properly before applying foundation. Now if you're interested in knowing some contouring and highlighting techniques, you can click on the cards. Or if you want to watch a full makeup tutorial, I have a lot of them on my channel but that's it for the skin prep and how to get a good makeup base for dry skin so this is the completed look the lip shade is going to be in the description box along with everything that i'm wearing on my eyes and one tip that i want to give you is that do not overdo the oil the facial oil whichever oil you're using make sure that you don't overuse it otherwise it will kind of melt your makeup and make it even more patchy instead of hydrating and moisturizing your skin you can also use a setting spray on top of all this to make your makeup long lasting but what i feel is that during winters my makeup is long lasting even without a setting spray because i have a very very dry skin so that's it for the video i hope that you will find it helpful if you have dry skin if you did do not forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye